Hello, Robert. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm very good. How about you? How are you doing? I'm good. You're good? Very, very good. Nice. Nice to yes. hear that. Very tired, no? Very tired, no? Yes, uh, this day is, is very hard. This day is very hard. Um, I have very much work in the office, I but I have a, a lot finished. of a lot of work. It's important. Okay. Yes. So, what what activities yes. do you do? What are your activities? Hello. Good evening, everybody. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I Rob. I prefer to program to people um, perform work tomorrow. Um, see other reports that um piece part um uh, kit parts and the others object okay so you you work you said on the uh what what, what is your position about on the what uh, is it i forgot programmer it. programmer heavy right maintenance. Yeah, main maintenance remember maintenance. yeah you yes. you can say like a maintenance, maintenance. but yes. mostly speaking is maintenance maintenance yes so yes so you program all the activities all the activities from your coworkers you yes. pro you program the activities that they have to do the next day okay all right sounds yes. good sounds good so everybody's coming great so let's accept the other ones that are coming so Avi, can you listen today? No problem? Yes. Okay, great. So welcome yeah. welcome back to another session. Uh, so we have Alejandra, yeah, Alejandra and Larissa are coming. They're joining us, they're joining us. It's missing Alam, who, who else is missing? It's missing Alan and Israel, right? Israel, Alan, and um, I forgot the other ones, but we're missing a couple of them. Did you do the homeworks? Did you practice? Did you do the homeworks? Do you remember the homework to practice the possessive? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I did. Yes. Yes, yes. I did. Yes, I did. Okay, no problem. Yes, I did. yes, the homework that that is very easy when you use the possessive adjective. It's just uh, my, yours, his, or her, right? It's it's, it's not difficult. And and today we're gonna begin. Um, we're gonna work with the verb to be. The verb to be. Uh, is the how can i tell you is the the most important verb in english the verb to be if you know how to use verb to be so then you have communication you you we use the verb to be in all tenses in present in past and 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 progressive and future always you use the verb to be the form of the verb to be is so essential right for example when i said uh, uh good for example um estoy en casa Right, so, so, estoy en casa ahorita. How would you say that in English? Let's see. Uh, let me see. Uh, Susana, how would you say that? How would you say that estoy en casa en este momento? I am staying in, in my house. I am staying in my house. Okay, that's another version, right? It's just I am at home. That's it. You don't need anything else. I am at home. At home. At home, yes. For example, if I say, let me see, um, Mr. Rico, if I say, for example, uh, estoy hablando, en este momento, estoy hablando, how, how do you say that? I, I'm speaking. Um, I am speaking, right? So the bird to be am is almost er everywhere. For example, if I said, uh, um, let me see, David, eh, ayer estaba en la fiesta. How would you say that? Uh, yesterday, uh, yes, uh, yesterday, uh, in the party, 
yesterday yeah. in the party. Okay, great, no problem. They be yeah, don't worry. Yeah, but the verb to be estaba, right? In past, estaba. How would you say that in English? It's it's like I was yesterday. I was, was. in a party. I was in the I party. Was. I was. I was. I was in the party, right? That's it. Okay. For example, if you say that, uh, maybe if you say that, uh, what, on, on Sunday, um, estaré celebrando mi cumpleaños el domingo, right? It's, it's, it's not true, but it's, it's an example. Uh, how would you say that in English? It's like, estaré celebrando mi cumpleaños. No idea? It's like, I, I will be celebrating. Will, my, I will. I will be celebrating my birthday. Yes? Good. Exactly. If, if I say, for example, um, let me see, uh, he estado estudiando por mucho tiempo. How would you say that in English? I have been. Okay, thank you. Who said that? Tatiana, that was you. Thank you. Yes, it's correct. It's like, I have been studying. I have been studying for a long time. Yes, good. Um, for example, another one, if I said, um, let me see. Uh, Wendy estaba chateando. This is not, it's, it's not true. It's an example. How would you say that? Mm -hmm. Wendy estaba chateando. How would you say that in English? Tatiana, help us. Um, Wendy, where? Mm -hmm. I don't know is, if was or where. I don't remember. Okay, don't worry, it's okay. Thank you, Tatiana. In this case is was. Wendy was texting. She was texting. Yes. Okay. Yeah, sorry, right now that I'm missing different tenses, but all I wanna tell you is like, utilizamos el verbo to be en todos los tiempos. El, el, el ser o estar es, es, es como la, la columna vertebral del idioma inglés, right? No importa qué tiempo usted utilice, siempre lleva algo en todos los tiempos que usted utilice, lleva el verbo to be. Si usted logra manejar el verbo to be, va a poder manejar los demás tiempos, right? Si entiende el, el, uso, el uso de am, is, are, you will understand the use of was and where. And when we use the verb to be, right? So that's what we're going to do today. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to work with the verb to be. Give me one second. All right. Yeah, with the bird to be. What are the what it, what are the uh, the form of the bird to be? Who can tell me that? Let me see. Blanca. What are the forms of the bird to be? The forms of the bird to be. Let me put it this way. Okay. The forms of the bird to be. Blanca. What are the forms of the bird to be? Is um. Um, is, is, all right, are, are, exactly, that's all we need, we need am, is, are, to create uh, sentences with the verb to be, we need am, is, are, right, in, in different ways, am, is, are, that's all we need, the verb to be is only the am, is, are, good, for example, um, let me see, when we mentioned, for example, jobs, remember the jobs that we talked last time, different jobs, if, for example, uh, can you tell me one job? Let me see, Avi, Abigail. Give me one job from the last time, the, the last exercise. Engineer. Engineer, good. Let me see, uh, Vilma. Vilma, give me another, another job, another profession. Doctor. Doctor. Great. Doctor, doctor. What else do we have? Other professions, everybody. Uh huh. Lawyer. Lawyer. What else? Nurse. Pilot. Nurse. Pilot. Pilot. <coughs> okay. Psychology. Baker. Teacher. Baker. Baker. Okay. Soldier. Again. Vet. Soldier. Soldier. Vet or yeah, is vet. Mm -hmm. Another one. Journal. Butcher. Journalist. Butcher. Okay. Pilot. 
Pilot. Pilot. Okay. Baker. Baker. Carpenter. Yes. Carpenter. Uh huh. Bus what driver. else? Cashier. Bus driver, cashier. Okay. For example, um, can you tell me like three jobs that you really like? Three jobs that you like. For example, let me see. Uh, let's go with um, David. Tell me three jobs that you like. For example, I am a teacher. I really like teaching. Yes, and this is a new methodology, teaching online, but uh, as, uh, teaching alive is, is, is different, it's better. But I like this modality too. But I really love teaching. I really love like farming and I really love uh, like building, constructing, being a mason. Mason, do you know what is mason? Mason. Mason is M A S O N. You grade in, in like mason, right? But it's like a albañil, albañilería. I really like construction. Okay. Yes, I really like construction. So then, yes, those are my three jobs, David. What are your jobs that you like? Uh, the jobs uh, that you like is uh, engineering. Engineer, okay. Give me three. Um, uh, pilot, pilot. Pilot, okay. All right. Engineer, pilot, uh huh. Another one? Yes. And. Um, um, or. Mm -hmm. And. Um, A doctor. A doctor? Okay. So you those are the jobs that you like. Do you like to be a doctor? Okay. Good. Yeah, it's, it's a nice job. So for example, we're yes. gonna have some uh, adjectives to describe some jobs, right? Some adjective and we're gonna use the bird to be. For example, we have this one. Um, we have uh, interesting, interesting jobs. We have interesting jobs, correct? Good. So we have the opposite, I'm sorry. Uh, interesting jobs. And we have the opposite, which is like boring jobs. Boring. Yeah, we have boring jobs, right? And uh, maybe we have uh, uh, this ones. Uh, stressful. Stressful jobs. There's no E, sorry. Stressful jobs. Okay, we have other jobs that are like, um, what? This one, a cushy, cushy jobs or equal easy, very easy. You can say cushy or you can say like uh, easy, no problem. It's the same. Uh, we have like difficult, difficult. The extreme, extreme again. jobs. Extreme jobs, right? It's like, or you can put it like, like hard jobs, maybe? Is that what you mean? Or stream? What do you mean? Uh, like a stream? Uh, what is it? Uh, hmm? um, stream jobs, uh-huh. Could be uh, extreme jobs like- uh, Danger, like, like danger jobs? Dangerous, oh, probably, that's, that's the word, right? Uh, dangerous, dangerous jobs, okay, good. Another kind of jobs, another one, okay, no? What about this one? Like, uh, you might say like uh, relaxing jobs. Yeah, some people, they have some relaxing jobs, okay? Another another kind of jobs that you may find? That's we funny jobs. Funny? Funny jobs. Funny jobs is jobs is like like ah jobs funny jobs okay yes another one funny bad jobs okay bad jobs okay oh for example we have like a well pay uh jobs well pay good money or the opposite is like a terrible right it's like a bad pay jobs. Thank you. I paid 
jobs. Yeah. Okay, good. Any other one? Any other jobs? Uh huh. Any other job that you might find? Difficult, okay, boring, or for Easy. some, uh, maybe you can say like a demanding jobs, right? A lot of a lot of time, a lot of effort. So you're you're working a lot, very demanding, very demanding. Mm -hmm. Another um, one. Lazy jobs. Jobs. Lazy. L lazy. Okay. Okay. Lazy. Lazy jobs. Maybe the, the, the job is not lazy, but uh, you know, sometimes we're lazy. Yeah. Okay. So we have a lot of adjectives. So we have interesting jobs and then we have boring, stressful, cushy. Cushy, when I say cushy, the word cushy is equal if I say like uh, easy. Easy, something very easy, very simple, no complication, very easy. And we have a difficult or we have hard, right? It's almost the same. We have stream jobs, dangerous jobs, relaxing jobs, funny jobs, uh, bad jobs, well-paid jobs, uh, bad paid jobs, demanding jobs, and, and lazy jobs. So, um, for example, when I said interesting jobs, can you give me an example? What could be an example of an interesting job? Scientific. Again? Uh, Sci scientific. 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 Okay. Scientific is interesting. Okay. Maybe. Uh huh. Another soldier, interesting. Soldier. A soldier? Soldier. Uh, oh, surgeon. Surgeon. A surgeon. Surgeon? Uh, cirujano. Yeah, surgeon. A surgeon. A surgeon, interesting. Okay, maybe for the job that they do. Good. Another interesting job. Astronaut. Astronaut. It's interesting. Good. What else? Another interesting job, everybody. Mm -hmm. Taxi driver. A taxi driver. Okay. Interesting job. A taxi driver. <laughs> it, it could be, maybe. It depends, right? If you really like... <laughs> driving cars it is interesting if you like it it will be interesting right what about this one boring jobs what could be an example of a boring jobs mm -hmm. boring what about boring jobs again Account. accountant accountant okay okay then, yeah sorry elizabeth and, and susana right yeah you're talking to the accountant right there's a slogan there's a slogan there's a slogan that it says okay no i know how la contadora right she paid the money right she pays the money right yes. don't don't make her angry yeah. Don't pay the salary. All right. <laughs> no more, no salary on the 15, okay? Yeah, boring jobs. It depends. What else? What could be another boring job? Liar. Liar? Well, liar or lawyer? Lawyer, excuse me. Oh, okay, don't worry. Yes. When you said this one, this one is liar, mentiroso, right? And uh, we, we said this one... No. Uh, and the other one is about like lawyer. It's similar. Okay, yeah, it's, it's similar. Yes, Same. it's true. They need to lie <laughs> in order to convince people. A bookseller, you see? A bookseller? The okay. lawyer applies the liars. <laughs> yeah, the lawyer applies the lies. Okay, that is correct. Okay, another boring job. Security answer. Uh, uh, security, a security guard, okay, maybe. A security, yes. What about a stressful job? A stressful, a lot of stress. Programmer. Programmer. <laughs> Accountant, <laughs> programmer. Okay, what else? Yeah, the programmer, they have a lot of work. Accountants, they're always working. You know, secretaries, I really admire secretaries. They have a, an ability, yes. <laughs> They have an ability to handle 
a lot of things during the day. Counter. Yeah. Yes, they are calling every day. I know they call here. Yes, ma'am. And they're typing, they're reading. It's, they're really multitasking person. Multitasking, right? They are calling, they are reading, and they are typing, and there are many things. They are doing many things at the same time. Good. What about uh, this one? Cushy, very easy, very relaxed. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Easy jobs. Okay. How do you say diputados? <laughs> Politicians. <laughs> Politicians. <Okay>. Politicians. <laughs> Politicians. All right. Easy, right? And, and good salaries. And they have really good salaries. Yes. Okay. Uh, we also have other easy jobs, right? So it depends, but uh, there are some easy jobs. What could be another example of an easy job? <laughs> Baker, a baker mm, could be, could be, uh, but uh, it's a little bit difficult. And what about the other one? Uh, difficult jobs. Let's move on to the other one. Very difficult. Brokers. Brokers. Do you think it's difficult? Eh, corredores, este. Uh, yeah. This. The bolt. Yeah, brokers. Do you uh -huh. think it's difficult? Mm, maybe. 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 Yes. Maybe. Yeah. Corredor de bolsa, right? Stock brokers. Mm -hmm. yeah, it could be difficult, but it could be easy. When they know how to do it, it's easy. But if, if you're new, so then yes, it's difficult. And what about hard? Something very hard. It's more than difficult. Mm. A hard job. Booming. Again? Uh, Construction. Construction, right? So that is called, as I said, a mason. Doctor. Mason. Mm -hmm. Doctor is difficult, mm, hard, uh, could be, probably, yes, but uh, it's, I don't think it's difficult. It's just like uh, they have a lot of activities to do, but in a medicine way. What do you say agriculture? Good, exactly, right? That is a farmer. A farmer, farmer is a very hard job. A farmer is so difficult job. It's very difficult and bad pay. Good. What about stream jobs? Stream Fire, jobs? Fireman. Uh -huh. A fireman. Yes, a fireman is a stream job. Okay, another one? The police. Policeman. Policeman. Yeah, especially here in El Salvador, right? It's, yeah, good. Uh, and what about the other one? Dangerous. Dangerous? Electrician? Oh, yeah. Electrician? Electrician is dangerous. Yeah, what else? Window cleaner. Butcher? Thought. Maybe, yeah. You can, you can. Cut you can your... use the knife? <laughs> yeah. Yes, good. <laughs> and uh, we have, what about relaxing? Relaxing jobs. Barber. A barber, yeah. okay. Hairdresser. Hairdresser. Hair dresser. Uh huh. Another one. A relaxing job. Mr. Carpio, what could be a relaxing job? Marine or marine, sir. Again? Marine. Marine. A uh, a marine. Okay. Marine. A, a marine, marine. Could, could be right. Maybe right. It could be, yes. And what about funny? Funny jobs. Funny jobs. Oh, I'm sorry. Clown. How do you say payaso? Clown. 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 A clown, you right? Clown. To be a clown is a funny job. A comedian is a funny job. Okay. Uh, what about like a, a TV a, host? Again. TV host. A TV host, a presenter, right? It's kind of funny. Good. What about bad jobs? We have really bad jobs. What could be one, one example of a really bad job? Avi, give me one. For me, it's a secretary. It's a secretary. Okay. It's very, it's very, it's very bad. difficult. Yes, they, they do a lot of things. It's and they. Stressful. 
stressful mm -hmm. and they multitask and there's no there's no peace they, they they don't rest okay another example of a bad job the garbage collector the garbage collector mm, maybe yeah it could be it depends right but yeah that that is like a unhealthy job that is like like yeah, that is like bus driver, bus driver, bus drivers. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe. Okay. Unhealthy. What is unhealthy? Unhealthy. What is unhealthy? Insalubre. No saludable. No, no saludables. Exactly. It's como. Uh, yeah, like for example, uh, like for example. Insalubre. Insalubre, like like uh, Robert said, right? The trash collector, the trash collector, los que andan recolectando la basura todo el día, right? Yeah. Yeah. De hecho, uno ir a una distancia de un camión de eso se siente gran mal olor. Imagínese pasar un par de horas adentro de ahí. It's terrible. Yeah, it's unhealthy job. That is very unhealthy. But it, it's okay, right? It's a job. It, it doesn't matter what you do. But as long as you have a job, so uh, thanks God that we have a job. All right. What about this one? Uh, Well-paid jobs. Well soccer paid. player. Oh yes, soccer players. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't mind people, right? No. 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 Yeah. I, I, no. I, I have good comments like uh, I don't mind people. Yeah, well-paid jobs. Is that true? It's lying. Is that is a lie? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, because you know, uh, we have the perception that you know when we talk about like uh, airplanes and maintenance, airplanes maintenance, aircraft is means money, right? Good, but it depends. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what could be another example? Bad pay. Bad paid. Another Bad example. Pay. Another example of a well-paid job. Manager. Pilot. Man pilot. Manager. Oh, pilot. Okay. Another Gym. one. Maybe oh, the yeah. doctor. Doctors. Yeah, doctors are well-paid. Mm -hmm. Another one. Also engineer. Also engineers. The engineers, they, they get good salary, good wages. Yes. What about this one? Bad pay jobs. Uh, terrible salaries. Mm. Production control. Sure. Teachers, for example, right? <laughs> Teachers, yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> is <just> terrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, teachers it is a bad pay jobs. Uh, it's, it's terrible. But anyway, I, I like it. I like it. Another example. Accountant. Accountant. Mm, no. An accountant. <laughs> a programmer. <-D> <laughs> okay. Maybe, but so it depends the company, but some accountants in some companies, they, they have good salaries. It depends, right? And what about the other one? Here, this one, the demanding, very demanding jobs. Mm -hmm. Doctors? The, the demanding is, is like, a, what is demanding? It's exigente, que tiene que exigir, right? Exigente, demanding jobs. What could be an example? Um, engineer. engineer okay uh what about managers managers they they those are demanding jobs because you need to produce you need to get the goals right so managers they are very demanding jobs as well as supervisors right okay another example of a demanding job mm -hmm. yeah. airplane mechanic Airplane me mechanics, right? Yes, it could be. Yes, because they need to fix the problem in, in a few hours. So they work with time. Yes. What about this one? Uh, we're almost finished. Lazy. What is lazy, everybody? What does lazy mean? Manuel, what is it? Manuel, what is an example of a lazy job? It's like uh, easy. Lazy, here. Lazy uh, is like a easy. Yeah. Relax. Uh huh. How will be an example 
of a lazy job? Maybe to be cashier? A cashier? A cashier? Mm. No. Mm, yeah. Cashier? No, cashier. They, mm -hmm. they need to work a lot, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's a stressful. Yeah, they have a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. This is not a lazy job. Security of the mall. Security of Bye -bye. the mall. A mall security, maybe, right? So they're just mm -hmm. like a, in a in a in a bicycle, right? Moving from one place to another. One. Could be. It depends. That could be an example of a lazy job. What about another one? Again? Hairdresser. Maybe hairdresser. And, and how, do you say, how do you say he's part of the traffic? Oh, the, the traffic controller? Or the traffic agent? But, but the traffic agent, uh, do you think that is lazy job? No. Mm, oh, it could be. It depends, right? It depends. But they, they, they have to. And it's dangerous. That will be dangerous job. Because, you know, here in El Salvador, people drive very crazy. Yeah, and, and, yeah exactly. And sometimes they have some accidents. Maybe babysitter? A babysitter? Mm -hmm. No. Babysitter? No, Again? What did you say? And the people. Uh huh. And what about, for example, uh, this job? Let me see. Uh, waiters or a waitress. What kind? What will be the category for waitress and waiters? Meseros y meseras. What will be the the category? It's the restaurants. Uh huh. But in what is the? How would you Maybe describe? Flexible. Yeah. I would say uh, the persona que pone las películas en el cine. That's, um, exact... <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is there a job like that? I don't even know <laughs> if that exists in Spanish. The, the, the movie player, maybe? Could be. I don't know. I don't even know, not even in Spanish, if we have a, a kind of job like that. Okay, yeah, but it depends, right? So you personally, what kind of job do you have? Do you have an easy, um, a good job, a relaxing, dangerous, a stressful, interesting? What, what kind of job do you have? How would you categorize your job? Stressful. Interesting. Uh-huh. Inter yeah, interesting cool. <laughs> and stressful, okay? But hey. And bad pay. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think I, I think you, you don't want to say the truth. Okay. Bad pay. No, look look at look at David's face when when they say like oh bad pay and David's is like a, no 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 right in the face you can see it. <laughs> All right, good. So that's about jobs. So so remember we have different adjectives. And right now, we're going to work with the verb to be, right? So that's what we're going to do here. The verb to be. When we talk about verb to be, we talk about am, is, are. are. Am is are. That was it. Simple. No question. And um, let me see if I can make it smaller. This one uh, is pretty easy. You don't need to complicate that much. But it's just that uh, sometimes we confuse with the, uh, when, when we use M is R, especially is and R, when we have like singular or plural things. For example, when I said, uh, uh, let me give you a test, okay? For example, uh, my, my brother, my brother is or my brother are? What will be the correct? Is. Or is. are. Is. Is. Singular. It's singular. Okay. Uh, let me let me get another one. Okay. My my siblings is or are? Are. 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 Is singular or plural? Plural. 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 Where is plural. where is meaning sibling? All right. Good question. What is the meaning of siblings? Hermano. Gracias. 
Yeah, it's like uh, when you said brothers uh, and sisters. Exactly, brothers and sisters together, right? When you say my okay. bro, when you say my brothers, only the guys, the men, right? But if you say my sisters, the girls only. But if you put it together, it's siblings, my siblings. Okay, good, very nice. So I think it's gonna be easy this topic for you. And then, for example, uh. Oh, this one is good. My family, my family is or are? Is or are? Are. Is or are? Are. Is. 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 Okay. Is. Or is. are? Is. 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 So then it's singular or plural? Family singular or plural? Singular. 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 My family. Only one. Exactly. There's only one family. And sometimes people think that when, when we talk about family, oh, my mother, my brother, my sister, my cousin, my, every, my everybody. So it's plural. But no, family is just one. So then it's my family Yes. S, right? My family is. Yes. Exactly. So it's singular. Uh, and I have another example. For example, I can say here, uh, the children is or are. For example, right. children. The children is uh, on the street or the children are on the street. What is it? It's, it's, the children is. Is. Is the one street. Are. Are or are, 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 are. singular or plural? Plural, singular, singular. 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 Okay, singular. great. Singular. Yeah. singular, the children, the uh -huh. children. Uh -huh. But great. the meaning yeah. of children is plural. Okay, plural. so like the woman, child, child is singular. children. Child. Thank you. Who said that? Okay, yeah, right now I'm just testing you. Don't worry. It's just like I'm testing where, where we are. Solo estoy viendo donde estamos para proceder, right? So we don't take too much time with the bird to be, so we move ahead because we have a lot of things to take a look. Yes, when I said, for example, here, when I said the children is plural, like two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six, ten, or more, the children are. So it's already plural. But when it's singular, so then you can say the child only one, right? The child is, right? And the children are, yes. It's, uh, it's like when we have this, this uh, noun is already plural. Another example is like for, uh, let me give you here. Here, it says woman. The woman is or the woman are? What is it? Is. Singular or plural? The woman. It's singular. It's singular. singular. It's singular. Okay. But what if I say like this one? E women. women. The pronunciation changes. It's plural. It's plural. plural. Okay. R. R. So women are what? Gorgeous. Okay. All right. Uh, women are. So the word women, but you cannot say like this. Some Like this. Women uh, is not correct. All right, it's like similar mm -hmm. here. Plural, children's, no, it's incorrect. This is like this. Okay. What about if I say like this one, the fish is in the ocean. Is that correct? E I mean, I, 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 yeah, I'm referring to all the animals in the ocean. <laughs> For example, let me give you. Uh, yeah, I always do this example. Okay, here, how would you say that in English? Carvalho, Mr. Carvalho, you're so quiet today. Tell us, Mr. Carvalho. It says, "Cuide los peces." Tell me that in English. The fish is in the ocean. Why? Uh huh. Oh, okay. uh, and I have this, this <laughs> sentence in, in Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me that in English. Mm -hmm. 
Cuide. Sí. How, how do you say cuidar o cuide? How do you say that? Take, 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 take care. care. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. It's take care, exactly, right? We have the this one. Take care. It's like cuídese o cuide, depending, right? So take care. And then los peces. Fish. Of the fish. Fishes. Fishes. Take care of the fish. 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 Okay. Fishes. Fish. Fish. Okay. Fish. The fishes. Okay. Take care of the fishes. Okay, sounds good. Sounds perfect, right? Take care of the fishes. But we have a dilemma here. Uh, some nouns, they are plural already. Like, for example, children, you cannot say children. No. Women's, no, it's just women. So uh, let me tell you a story. Uh, I went to, uh, what is it? Uh, this, oh. It's uh, oh, La Pampa Argentina. La Pampa is located in Boquerón. En, en la parte de abajo tienen como unas pequeñas piscinas y tienen varios peces de color naranjado, creo. Y hay un eslogan que dice en español, cuide los peces. Y también está en inglés. If you don't understand Spanish. So, take care the fishes. Pero, but the word fish puede ser singular o puede ser plural, no no se puede pluralizar, no se puede decir fishes. Mm. This is not correct. So the correct sentence is take care of the fish. Porque fish puede ser singular o puede ser plural, no hay ningún problema. En este caso no podemos ponerle el, el fishes. ¿Ok? Ya, yeah, son cosas digamos que a veces son mínimas, pero que hay que hay que Ponerlos en práctica. So the correct sentence is take care of the fish, not fishes, not fish. Okay. So just remember when we have uh, this one, singular, right? When we have singular and we have plural, right? When, when, when I say singular, it's just one, one thing, but when I say plural, it's like two, three, four, or more. And normally we write like the S or ES. That's it, that's all you need. For example, if I said the word book in plural is books. Okay, books. exactly. For example, if I say like, like, like the bird here, like uh, uh, this one, a watch, right? Do you have a watch? And uh, what if I had three? For example, in my case, I have three Watch. watches. watches. I have three watches. Okay. Watches. All right. House is only one, right? House. So if I say, for example, let me see, um, David, how many houses do you have? One or, or many? Only uh -huh. one. Only one? What if you have two? So then you can say, I have two houses, houses. Okay. Houses. Yes. For example, place in plural will be places. places. Yeah. yeah, and that's pretty easy. Places. No problem. Let me go ahead and, and do something here. Just the ES and S. That's something pretty easy for you. Something that you already managed. So I am. We are. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are. They are. So then we have the, the, the third person, which is he is. She it's and it is. Right. No problem. That, that's all you need. So then you can use, for example, a or you can use an. It depends. Well, let me explain you that later on. The use of a uh, and the use of uh, an. When do we use a? Uh, when do we use an? Let me ask a question to Larisa. Larisa, when do I use an? Uh, uh, no. 
In English. Uh, tell me in English. Try, Larissa. Try. It is when, when? Uh -huh, when, correct. The first letter. Uh -huh, perfect. Uh -huh. so how do you say empieza in English? Begins. 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 You can say begin. In stars. Mm -hmm. And with. Ah, oh, well, no sé cómo, no sé cómo decir la palabra. <laughs> okay, don't worry. You're doing good. Perfect, right? You said mm -hmm. uh, there is letter A when the first letter begins. Uh huh. En, en que no sea vocal. Uh, if it is not, consonant. if it is not vowel, so what is it? Is a consonant, right? Consonant. consonant. Exactly, right? So you use a when the next word begins with a consonant. When the next words begin with a consonant. So we said a, ah, right? For mm -hmm. example, let me see uh, a book, a table, right? A refrigerator, uh, a computer, uh, a teacher, a doctor. Yeah, you can say, for example, you can say a or you can say a. It depends. Here, you can say a book or you can say a book. No problem. A Both. Book. Yeah, a book or a book. No problem. Both are correct. And when do we use uh, an? When do we use an? With initial. Uh -huh. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Wendy, when do we use When finish. When finish or begins? begins. Or be begins. When the uh -huh. word begins with vowel. When the word begins with a vowel, exactly. A vowel. And uh, what is a vowel? Remember the, the alphabet is like a A, E, I, O, U. But sometimes, some, not, not always, not, not always. Let, let me give you some examples here. Uh, for example, I can say the uh, apple. Is a uh, apple or an apple? An apple. An apple. An apple. An apple. An apple. An apple. Okay, an what, apple. If, what if I say, for example, eraser? Is that a or an? Um, an. An. Uh, an eraser. An. an eraser. Good. What if I say, for example, let me see. Um, good. Chair. Is that a chair or an chair? A chair. A chair. A chair. It's a, a chair. A chair. Uh, okay. A chair. Good. What, what if I have the word university? Is that a university or an university? Um, um, university. An university. An university. An university. An university. An university. Well, in this case, uh, it's a university. The reason is because we don't say u, right? It's like it changes. It's, it's like now there is now is now more is is u is university. So then it changes. Yeah, this is an exception. But normally, normally an followed by a vowel, a followed by a consonant. So we are here. So for example, let me see here. Uh, I am an accountant right i'm an accountant i am an accountant good so we are when we have plural so then we don't use for plural only for singular so we are what students we're students okay so maybe for example we are good we are good friends maybe uh, they are in They are in the other class, good. So he is a architect. Okay, is, is that correct? Mr. Let me see, Alan, is that correct? Alan, this one, I said, 
He is an architect, is correct? He is an architect? He is architect. Is correct? Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay, perfect. Floor, is that correct? He is an architect? Yes. Okay, perfect, thank you. Clara, is that correct? Mm. He is an, no, he is an ar architect. Exactly, ah, right? Podemos Remember? contar uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco architectos. Yeah, but if it is plural, if it, yeah, it, it will be like this, that architects. So then, yes, but in this case, I have singular. Son muchos, uh -huh, son muchos. Yeah, but in this case, mm. you can, it's... An, remember that the next one begins with a vowel, vowel, an, an architect, he's an architect, an architect, right? He's an architect, right? Uh, maybe she is a, a nurse, okay? It is my dog, it's my dog, it's, it's, it is my dog. So then that's the verb to be. So we have affirmative, right? I am, we are, they are. What about, for example, your, your family? Let, let, let me do a practice because right now we need to talk. We need to describe like family uh, with the bird to be. Let, let me see, let me get to someone. Uh, let me see, Tatiana, could you describe your, your family? Um, okay. Um, just, just, just tell me, for example, tell me three things about your family. Let me write it here. Okay, for example, uh, maybe uh, the name, okay, the age, uh, the profession, I'm sorry, the profession, okay, and give me one uh, adjective about that person, one adjective, three things. For example, if I tell you about my father, right? Uh, my, his name is Gilberto, okay? He is 60 years old. He is a farmer and he's workaholic. Okay, so Tati, go ahead. Tell me about someone in your family. Okay, it's about my mother. Okay. Her name is Blanca de Campos. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's 56 years old. Okay. Her profession is engineer. Okay. And what and adjective? It's very lovely. She's very lovely. Okay. She's very sweet. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, let me get someone else. Uh, let me see. Um, let me get another one, another one. Uh, let me see. Okay, uh, Robert, give me one member of your family. Describe hey, um, your family. It's about my mother. My mother, um, his name is Maria Luisa. Your mother, um, his or her name? Is her name. Her name, remember the possessive, yes? Her name is? Her name, Maria Luisa. Um, her age, um, and remember that old. when when we talk about the age, we use the verb to be. I know that in in, in Spanish we say that uh, uh, ella tiene. Yo tengo 20 años de edad. I wish I, I don't, right? Uh, but in English we use the verb to be like this one. He is. I'm sorry. Uh, he is 30 years old. This is a common mistake, right? Es un error muy común que a veces cometemos cuando utilizamos el, el verbo to be, como oh. ejemplo, así. He has 30 years old. Tiene lógica. Él tiene 30 años. Right? Pero en realidad cuando hablamos de, de, de la... What is it? Uh, when we talk about the age, we don't use the verb have. We use the verb to be. For example, my mother is, my father is, my brothers are, I am, so we always use the bird to be. Okay, Robert, go ahead. Okay. Um, 
My mother is um, 65 years old. Um, professional is um, uh -huh. uh, what do they say, a costurera in English. A sewer? Yes, or a, a sewer. tailor? A tailor? Tailor. Yes. Okay. A tailor. A tailor is and like... An adjective yeah. is, um, is she... a very hard people. <laughs> He's a very hard uh, person. She's a very hard serious. person. Serious. serious. She's serious. very serious. Okay. Good. Yes. Sounds good. Okay. And, and uh, what about, let's see, Monica. Uh, describe someone from your family. Monica? My mother. Uh huh. Her name. Her, her name is Sandra. Okay. Sandra. Mm -hmm. um, it's my dog. Name, name is Peluche. Okay. Um, his brother is. 20 years old. His brother, which brother? Okay, you, you mentioned about your mother, right? For example, you can say, my yes. mother, her name is Sandra, you said, right? Yes. Okay, she is, how old is she? She is uh, 45 years old, she's 50 years old, she is... Uh, okay. Uh-huh, and she she's, is... Uh-huh. She's... 40 years old? 40 years old? She's very young. How old are you, Monica? Okay. It, it's 24. Possible. You are? How old are you? You, Monica, how old are you? You? Yeah, you. 24. 24. And my mother, 40. And your mother's 40? She's very young. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. <laughs> And her she, profession? She is a nurse. Okay. And the adjective? She is... Um, tough. Tough. She is tough, right? It's strict. She's very strict. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do a short practice. Yes. We're going to do a short practice that you need to give a short description you need to describe your family members, right? You need to describe family members. When I say members, it's like, a, how many members do you have in your family? Vilma, how many members? How many members, right? Members, like all the members of your family, like brothers, sisters, cousin, maybe in, in, in the house, in your house. You need to describe, in my house. yeah, in your house, how many members? My mom, uh -huh. uh, her name is Vilma. Okay, what a coincidence, okay. <laughs> she is 60. Years old, okay. She is housewife. A housewife, okay. She is good. She is good, okay. And what about your sister? Do you have sisters? Uh, no. No? No sister? No. no. brother? No. Father? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, cousin? No. Okay. Nephews? Well, no, 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 no. Only you and your mother. Okay. All right. That's a very small family. <laughs> but but if, you, if you ask Peter, Peter has like seven in, in the family. Right, Peter? <laughs> no. My how many is, is small okay. my wife and my mother okay only three okay only that's three. very that's very small okay great my... let's go into practice just give me one moment peter so we need okay. to work and describe with your because i need to have everybody here so you need to describe your family mm -hmm. members family members like probably uh, like like vilma she only has her mother but Vilma, you can talk about maybe other families like uh, your aunt, your uncle, your cousin, uh, maybe other family, right? So 
you you talk a little bit more. Like for example, uh, I have a, a a niece. She is uh, two years old. Her name is Sophia, and uh, she well she doesn't have a profession, but she is very active, and she's so cute. Okay, yes. Uh, let me see. I have uh, I, I have a little boy. I have a son. He is three months. He's a baby right now. Uh, his his name is uh, Alexander. What a coincidence! Uh, he is very uh, I, I may I might say energetic, and uh, he is so talkative. Talkative. What is talkative? Talkative. Any idea? Talkative? No. No. What is talkative? Tatiana, tell us what is talkative. I don't know. Okay. Talkative. Someone that is trying to talk and and a babies mm -hmm. when when babies you don't understand what they're saying but they are talking. Talkative. Huh? Hablantín. Es como hablantín, alguien que habla, right? Comunicativo. Eh, eh, well, yes, in that way, but hablantín, someone that really likes to talk. Yes. All right. So then you you're gonna do a description. Uh, I'm gonna give you a few minutes, and we're gonna work group of three, and then we go back to the class. All right. So we're 23. I need to create a seven. I know that when I do this, uh, some of you have problems, but let's see if we can fix it. You need to describe your family, okay? You need to accept the invitation now. Right? Alam, Manuel, Tati, Carpio, Mr. Carpio, you need to accept the invitation. I'm money.
done? Finish? Finish. Finish. Okay, great. So everybody's back. So r right now, after this, we're gonna do a short, a short practice. Let's wait for the other ones to come. Oh, we have Alejandra here too. Okay, Larisa and everybody. Okay, so it's everybody back or are we missing? Yeah. Uh, we're missing David and two, one is gone. Yeah, they're gonna come right now. There they are, good. Now, we're gonna do a short uh, kind of uh, practice and it's like a kind of game. I, I sent you a link to the WhatsApp group that you need to click and uh, for example, uh, and then uh, you will have to enter to that link. Let me explain you that. Les envío una, un, una dirección al WhatsApp, tiene que darle click como la de Zoom, la va a tirar un programa que se llama Quizzes. Luego, uh, in quizzes, usted le, le va a pedir su nombre, right? Su nombre. Y luego le da aceptar. Y luego yo voy a poder ver su información. Uh, let me see if I have it here. Just Aparece give me... empezar fichas de estudio y es así. Yeah. Uh, just give me one moment. Uh, no, aún no lo he comenzado. Okay. Okay, good. No sé si todos lo pueden ver, right? Uh, yes. Acá. Okay, aquí les dice empezar, pero tiene que ingresar su nombre. Les pide su nombre y luego go. Yo voy a poder ver los nombres acá, right? Pueden Le damos decir, empezar, entonces. Uh, ¿ya, ¿Ya puso su nombre? No me lo preguntó. No, no me pregunta. Ok. No pide, no pide. ¿No pide? No, 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 really. pide. no, no pide. It's true, ok. ¿O oh, será desafía? ¿Tus amigos? No. Ok, no let me try. El nombre, yo solo te mando a empezar. No, ahí sí pide tu nombre, en desafía a tus amigos. Ajá, desafía a tus amigos, ajá. Escribe su nombre. Le damos en desafiar okay. a mis amigos. Ajá, okay. y luego empezar. Ok. Teacher. Hola. Teacher, sorry, I directed for, for working. <laughs> Okay. Don't worry. Yes. Good. Uh, only name or our last name? Only Two. the name. Only the name. Only the first name. Uh, yes. Y después empezar. Okay. Uh, dele empezar. A ver si lo dejas. Lo que aparece es y de los jugadores. Ajá. Uh -huh. Usa okay. cualquier dispositivo para abrir introducción ah, código de código juego, de dice. Juego. Ok, permítame. Yo no puedo ingresar, dice. Déjeme, permítame un momento. Ok. Ahora right. ahí. Ok. Ah, sí, el sí, código, sí. el código sería uh, 431-2353. No se puede cambiar. Ajá, no se puede cambiar. No se puede cambiar. Okay. Okay. Yo tengo uno, oh. 6, 5, 16, okay. hagamos, uh, hagamos algo, di algo diferente. Okay. Eh, Se lo voy a, le, le voy a copiar eh. otra vez otro link. Pues probablemente ah. eso es lo que está sucediendo. Okay. Ese, eh, comparto pero, el enlace pero, pero si, no. si le das a si le das enjoy my quiz, ahí después Ajá. sale ingreso un código para unirse. Sí. Ah, okay. dele, de, dele en WhatsApp, dele al otro al otro link que les acabo de enviar. Oh, okay. this, this right. Ready? 
Ahí sí, sí te pide todo. el nombre. Ok, así ah, sí. Ya ingresé, ¿no? Ok. Ya ingresé y ya. Ok. Ok. Ahí está. Only, only one number. No, just give me one moment. Um, yeah, only one name. Ok. El código. No les pidió código, ¿o sí? No. 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 Okay. Okay. Let me see. I can see the names here. If I scroll down, I have uh, Tatiana, Abigail, Jose, David, Monica, Pedro, Elizabeth, Flor, Blanca, Alejandra, Robert. Daisy, let me see. Uh, Wendy, Israel, Emerson, Miguel, Manuel, Larissa, Vilma, Alexander, that, that's me. Okay. Uh, Alan, pudo. No, no, no pude entrar. No he intentado de nuevo hacerlo con el nuevo link. Sí, ya ingresé, pero me aparece en blanco. Solo me aparece quizzes.com. En serio, porque directamente lo tiene que tirar a, a, la, a la plataforma. Intente de nuevo. Me varios, me varios iconos de, de, de eBay, Google, Broking, Hotels. Ok, so let's see, we can watch this, uh, Alan. Probably, okay. let, let's see, let's begin, right? Cuando comience, cada quien lo puede hacer a su velocidad. Right, here we go. And your cell phone. Go for it. Ustedes pueden contestar a su a su velocidad. Where, right? where is the teacher? Oh, it was. No, oh, okay. Continue. Te bloqueo tu primer porque. Huh? Okay, look at Peter. She, 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 um. I'm playing too, but I'm going in slow. I'm watching you, right? They um student, right? Maybe. Hmm. 
I is very tired. Correct? That's suspicious. No. Uh, you have you to Oh. Finish almost. Tatiana yeah. is in first place. And Manuel, look at Tatiana and Manuel. I'm going <laughs> slow. I, I am confusing people. They they is good friends, right? They is good friends? Maybe. No. Possibly. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm making mistakes. Finish, all right. I am competing with Clara. I complete the show. You complete? Great. We will see that. Finish? Okay. <laughs> it's done. Okay. So we're gonna, let's see, uh, we're about to finish. So Tatiana, finish. Uh, everybody finished. Including me. Finish. Okay, we're missing for the other ones. So we got Tatiana, first place, she's very fast. In second place, we have Manuel. And then I have Monica. I have uh, Larisa. Great job. Uh, Raphael, David, Peter, 
uh, Daisy, Blanca, Abigail, Michael, Elizabeth, Fleur, and uh, Wendy, Alexander Maldonado, I think it's me, um, Jose, Alejandra, Vilma, Robert, Israel, Emerson, and Alan. Alan, so at the end you were able to. Alan? Sí. Al final pudo. Sí, ahorita estoy en él. Okay, perfect. Yeah, don't worry. Entré un poco tarde, sí. Yeah, don't worry. We can see that. You can go on your speed. Everybody, everybody works in a different way, different style, right? Don't worry. That's you can take your time. So let's see. Alan and Emerson Carpi are competing. We're just waiting for Alan. Yeah, the, the use of the verb to be is very easy. You just need to understand when we use am, is, are. And, and also, um, and when we talk about uh, in, in negative, right? The negative is also pretty easy. You just put not, and then it's negative. Uh, the only thing is like uh, most of the English, we use contraction. For example, if you want to say like, uh, we are not, we are not student. So in that case, we don't say we are not. So we make a contraction and we say, we aren't, we aren't students, right? And that's it for all the English. Every time that you are speaking or grading, you need to use contractions as possible. We're waiting for Alan, he's almost done. Okay, complete. And Finish, okay. Yes. Jose, everybody finish. Okay, as you can see, so then let's, let's finish it, okay? Yes. Who won? Uh, you know, let's say the first places. First place goes to Tatiana. And then that's what we have. Yeah, Tatiana, Michael, and Monica. They were flying. <laughs> right like secretaries but that's great yes okay yes it's just <laughs> you know it's just to practice uh, okay it's just to practice the bird to be am um, is are it's so essential to manage the bird to be and every time that we speak mm -hmm. and so tomorrow we'll, we're gonna continue we're gonna practice like a negative in questions and also wh question what is a wh question what is a wh question W. What? Where? Who? Is exactly right, Blanca. When you say what, where, who, why, right? How, we, when? when, exactly, open questions. Not only the bird to be, for example, someone's going to say it. Um, let me see. Uh, are you, uh, let me see, Mr. Rico, are you a lazy person? Are you a lazy person? No, no, I, no I'm not. No, I'm not, right? That's yes or no. But then an uh, open question is like, for example, um, like, like, 
Rico, where are you right now? Uh, I'm in the table. I am in the house or I'm in, <laughs> the, in, in the table. Okay, no problem, right? The, so, okay, yes. So tomorrow we're going to work with WH question and I'm going to send you more exercises to practice per three. That's very easy. No complications for you. So thank you, everybody. I will see you tomorrow at the same time, right? Thank you. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. Right? Bye. See, you tomorrow. Bye. see you tomorrow. Take care. Take care. Take care. Bye, everybody. Good night. Good night.